What's up y'all, it's Mo, and today's video is going to be a flip through of my June planner. Um, so like an after the pen flip of my June spreads for June of 2021. How many times can I say June? Um, I cannot believe, I'm filming this on the 29th of June. I cannot believe, and now that I think about it, I don't have like the last, the first week of July slash last week of June in this planner, but who cares? Um, I'm just trying to get this filmed. <laughs> I can't believe we're in July already. And I know that's what everybody says every time they do like planner things and like time moves and that's how it works and we go on with our lives. But seriously guys, I can't, I cannot, I don't, I can't. And Marcus is going to be two in August. Like what is even how and why and how does that happen and I don't I don't understand I don't understand I don't I don't get it I don't get it I don't get it okay so also I want to apologize for my nails I need to fix them this one's like broken this one's coming off a little bit I had like daisies on it I don't know so I just wanted to get this film so this is actually not the planner I wanted to grab for you guys this is my current planner setup let me go get I already moved my June um, finish spreads into like my storage for 2021. So let me go get that. I'll be right back. Okay. So I have the right planner. This is the first six months of 2021. So let's move this planner over the way or out of the way. And I'm using the, I think this was the encourager, um, cover on my like storage for this year's stuff and just some rose gold discs for right now. I may switch it up, but yeah, first six months of the year in here. Isn't that ridiculous? So let's get this out of the way. So eventually I will probably glue these two together like the end of May, the beginning of June, but I haven't done it yet. But the first spread in June is this pride spread. I actually did two pride spreads, a Juneteenth spread, and then a spread like for the, um, spring no the summer solstice ish kind of so um first one is for pride and this is a kit that i have up on my patreon page there's a little bit of glare here but i have this kit up on my patreon page and i have a free pride kit over on the blog as well um but this one is up on patreon and i donated the may patreon like revenue to the National Queer and Trans Therapist of Color Network. I had to look up the name because I keep forgetting what order the words go in, but um, because May was Mental Health Awareness Month, I think, and then like June was Pride, and I'm like, we're gonna go ahead and do that um, organization because it goes for both months and it's an important organization. So, and then this was also a fundraiser, which I'm going to try and do more fundraisers, I think now on YouTube, now that I know it's something that you can do. So I didn't do too well <laughs> with this one because I didn't really know what I was doing and I don't think it got promoted as much as it could have been, but there was a fundraiser for the Trevor Project. And then also, I don't know if I have done this already, depending on um, if this video is up when it's up I don't know but I am or will have uh, be donating the proceeds like the revenue from this plan with me to also the National Queer and Trans Therapist of Color Network so um, as soon as I figure out the specific revenue for that for this plan with me I'm gonna donate that as well so this is just pride um, kit and I thought it was nice to have rainbow um, washi it's kind of like a tie-dye washi down here from print impression I used foiled overlay tapes from girl boss Anna I used different like um, foiled scripts and foiled icons and stuff from squirrel prints co and then some other little icons little people here and there um, from different places so yeah I think that let me see here I'm trying to figure out kind of what happened so Monday was Memorial Day I was like super sick we didn't go to freaking um, sex parents house at all um, let me see here Zach and um, my cousin Dan did the they kind of evened out the yard they rented a tractor from freaking like home depot and rented out a tractor um marcus watched so much tv that day i feel like we watch a lot of tv in this house but that is what it is 
So, and then the next week was also a pride kit. I really love this kit from Scribble Prince Co. Um, this is the first time I did a, I think the first time, no, the first time I had planned on filming um, how I do or how I use standard vertical stickers in a long vertical spread, but it didn't end up working out right. I was like all over the place and whatnot. So it didn't, it didn't work out right, but this was like poolside pride or something like that. I, I'm not sure. I don't really remember. I got sick on this weekend. Um, let's see. Uh, I got some, I got pink dot my pink diamond planner co order and my cover up order delivered. I did stickers with Marcus. We went to the farmer's market. Oh yeah. Was that on the, was that the day? I think that was the day. So we went to this farmer's market that's in our town and this little boy comes up to me and he goes, do you know where my mom is? And I said, Oh my gosh, sweetheart. No. And so I was a wreck after that. I just was a wreck and a half. Um, I, there happened to be like a paramedic or something in front of us in line at the food truck we were in. I was going to take him to the information counter and it was like a whirlwind or whatever. I was going to take him to the information counter, but the paramedic was in front of us and Zach was like, see if he'll take the, take him. And so he took him. And then I heard this mom come up and she's yelling, Carlos, Carlos. And I said, Oh my gosh, I think we just found your kid. We sent him to, he's with a paramedic. We sent him to the information counter. And I'm like, I'm like out of breath. I'm like panicking. I'm like, Oh my God, is she going to like, is this the kid? Like, I don't know. And then she was like, I don't know where my other kid is. And then I saw this other kid and I was like, is this your child? <laughs> because it looked like the other child. And um, she was like, oh my gosh, yes. And so I don't know. And then they finally got to the, um, like radioed up to the stage because there was also a Jimmy Buffett cover band and they stopped playing and they said, make sure you have everybody. There's a kid um, that's been taking information if you're missing someone, blah, blah, blah. And then another event coordinator like came around and I said, oh my gosh, I, like I just sent the mom up there. She's wearing a plaid. Like I, I was like a mess and half. And Zach was like, are you okay? And I was like, I can't, can you, I just, can you imagine if that kid went up? I'm going to get teary eyed here. Like, can you imagine if, if, I don't know, that kid went to someone else who wasn't me. You know what I mean? And it was just, I was, oh my gosh. I was like, I am so happy <laughs> that everything worked out okay. But like, he just came up and said, do you know where my mom is? And I just, I don't, oh my gosh. I was, I was losing it. I was losing it. But we ended up going another time, which I think is, is it marked? Yeah, it's marked here again, but, and we got rained out. So I'll talk about that when we go there. Um, I had to cancel paint night because I was sick. Um, I f was feeling better in the morning. Like I felt really bad on Friday. And then I was feeling a little bit better in the morning. So we went in um, outside in the backyard and Marcus a splash pad. And then I was like, oh, I'm feeling so much worse. I think it's an allergies thing. Um, or at least it was or whatever, because I would feel better than I would feel worse. In the morning, I felt worse. At night, I felt worse. So... Or in the morning, I felt better. As it got longer in the day, I felt worse. So I don't know what it was. Um, but then Zach got um, like food poisoning like I had, I think. And Marcus had a nosebleed. And we just watched, like we watched Wally and Blippi all day. Like talk about watching too much TV this weekend. We watched way too much TV the weekend that this was. It was just, it was so much TV. So then this is the Juneteenth kit from... Pink Diamond Planner Co. I did film this one. This one went up today, the day that I'm filming this video here, the slip through for you guys. And I love this spread. I love how it came together. I use Caress Press, like, um, I don't know if you would call it like foil. I just foiled overlays, but it's like a hollow gold foil overlays. I don't know. I don't know if that's what you call it, but that's what I used. And I really, I really do like how this came out. Um, let's see what else. I had to take Marcus to school on Monday. Do, 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 do. Marcus always wants to talk to my aunt, or I guess his aunt too, his great aunt, Pammy, all the time. And she doesn't have um, like FaceTime or Facebook or anything. So we have to wait till she goes and visits my grandma because then my grandma will get on Facebook video. So we called Shelby and we called my grandma to see if um, Pammy was there. I don't remember if we talked to her or not, but yeah. So let's see. I still, it says fold the dang laundry and it wasn't checked off and I'm still 300 weeks behind on laundry. Who knows? Um, I went to Target with Marcus. Um, oh, uh, Zach's grandma came to visit, Zach's grandma, Zach's mom came to visit. Um, 
on Friday we went to Costco and got good Costco chicken nuggets. I had to take Marcus to school on Thursday as well. Um, and I have been, well, I guess I've been taking Marcus to school a lot of these days. Um, and I go to Starbucks in the morning then. <laughs> um, then I went to Kroger. He had another nosebleed. Um, I got my, I ordered the Pink Diamond Planner Co. Sub. Marcus and I played outside. Um, I ordered Merlin food for pickup, which was also like another ordeal. I'm not even going to tell that story, but it was just like, maybe I, I don't know this. They were like, what's your delivery or your confirmation number or the barcode or something? I was like, I don't have a barcode. I don't know. It turns out the pet place is also a place that you can pick up like orders from wish. I have no idea. And I was like, do I, I looked like I wasn't there to buy pet food. I was wearing a tube top and my, I think I was wearing a tube top and like jeans or shorts or something I don't know and my jean jacket with like pins all over it so I didn't look like I was there to pick up dog food I think is what caused the confusion but I was like I don't I literally don't understand what you're talking about the wish app because I'm here to get dog food and like I don't I don't understand and she's like oh you're here for the dog food I was like yes and then she was like oh here it is it was the only order behind the counter and she's like, oh, here it is. We're also like a wish location, like for your pickup. So I was confused. I was like, well, girl, I was confused too. So who knows? Um, but yes, so love this kit. I feel like this was a good week, pretty much. I can tell you, I can tell you, like I'm looking at this, like the dinners over here. We have pizza, Zach and I got rotisserie chicken, like Zach made stir fry, but like leftover sandwiches, stroganoff leftovers. This was a lazy week of dinners and it has been a time of lazy week of dinners honestly so then this is uh the week after or week of i guess the first official week of summer after the summer solstice this is the honeybee kit that i have in the shop right now and i used some gold honeybee overlays that i also have in the shop that you can print everything in the shop is printable um i made a big old thing of nachos talk about lazy dinners I made a big old thing of nachos on tuesday night also i'm pretty sure you can probably hear the air conditioner cut on and off but um, it was Prime Day and I ended up ordering a robot mop um, because it's just, I need, I don't want to do chores. <laughs> and so the robot mop was on a pretty good deal, I think. And I set it up and it's been okay. It's been, it's been, it's been great. Sometimes I have to fight it, but it's been great. It's been pretty good. Um, do, 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 do. I put in curlers this day and then I had, I met a bunch of people at, for work. Like I work from home and we had a going away party for one of the people that was like leaving that they are moving to a different job or a different position or something. So I met a bunch of people on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday was water day for Marcus. Oh, the mask mandate was also lifted in Michigan. Um, and Merlin chewed a hole in the carpet on Tuesday. So there's that. Uh, we went to the farmer's market again and we got rained out. Uh, we packed sandwiches this time and we kind of just walked all around and Marcus had a good time. He pet some dogs. We talked about stopping if there was go-karts and holding hands. We talked about not running up to dogs and asking their owners if we can pet them. Um, we played on the playground. I saw the big splash pad that they have over there. It's real huge. So I'm gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go do that. Um, but then it like started rain. I was like, should we leave? And Zach was like, no, it'd probably be okay. And then it started raining a little bit more. And I was like, we should leave. So we pack up and we leave. And then as soon as we get to like the crosswalk to go back over to the library to where we parked, we get soaked. And I'm like, there ain't, there's no reason for us to like, ah, run, ah. Like we're gonna get soaked whether we run or not. And also if I run, I'm gonna fall and bust my butt. So. We just got soaked and then Marcus was mad because I had to take his Cheetos away to put him in the car. So it was, it was a big day. Who knows? Okay. So farmer's market. Um, oh, sweetie also got stung, um, on this day, which is, I had a bee themed and she got stung. So I had to go get Benadryl. I was like, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I guess she actually got stung on Friday, but I used this, this checklist to write down that I need to get, uh, Benadryl cream. So, and I got my new planners. I got my um, Brava, the mop from that I ordered on Prime Day, a rainy weekend. Uh, Marky and I went to Starbucks and then we went shopping and then I got Wendy's for lunch for everybody. Um, let's see here. So much caffeine because I'm tired. We went to the Detroit Zoo also on Sunday and that was pretty nice. Chasing a two year old around the zoo is. Not for the faint of heart. Um, all of the dang laundry is still in um, baskets. I haven't even folded it. Um, then I designed some templates and we had some chicken nuggets. I can't tell you how many times we had chicken nuggets this week. It was so many chicken nuggets. And then this is 4th of July week. And so the last week of 
what is this, uh, July and the beginning of, the last week of June and the beginning of July. And I actually thought that my new planner didn't start on July 1st. And I was like, that's super odd, but okay. So I planned here and then I was like, oh crap, two of my pages were stuck together. So I reprinted and luckily this is the kit that I printed and some foils and stuff that I made. So I just reprinted everything and refoiled everything and then planned my new planner. So you'll see that when I do the July flip through. So I do have to say, I really do like this spread in my new planner. I like that I used, I used rose or, um, red foil here instead of the silver for the boxes that have the fireworks and then when I did the overlays I did those in silver so I'll have to say I think my favorite layout yeah my favorite layout for this month it has to be the Juneteenth just because I love how filled in it is I love how the overlays went together I love how I don't know I just love how it came how it came out and then of course I do also love the two prides but I don't know I just I love how well designed this kit was and like how I don't know thoughtful and important and just like we need to have more Juneteenth kits so we can put them in our planners um and I said this in the video for this like in the description but one of my favorite parts about planning is that it's a creative extension like of ourselves right like obviously we use it for functionality and like stuff like that but we also can use it to be creative to express ourselves and to like share what we believe in you know what I mean and so I really think that is I just think that's important I think that's so great that this is a, a way it's so visual and a way of just I don't know sharing what we believe in so anyway but yeah and you know obviously with pride and stuff like that whatnot so uh yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe I would love for you to stick around and see what other videos I have I have a bunch of other planner flip throughs after the pins uh planner setups how to make planner stickers like I have a bunch of different videos for you guys and feel free to give me a follow I post all my before the pins um over on Instagram and or not all of them but most of them before the pins over on Instagram and I even share a little bit into my work planner um so go ahead and give me a follow it's at 516 as well and I will talk to you on my next video thanks for watching bye